My coverage of CES 2018 from Las Vegas, Nevada is brought to you by Cooler Master, Enermax, OCZ Toshiba, and Deepcool. All right, guys, we are visiting Corsair now, as we always do at Computex and CES. We're at CES now. And they actually invited us over to a press conference this morning, which is very nice. They, they served us some, uh, they weren't Danishes, but they were breakfast pastries. They were quite delicious. They also have some new products, so let's check that stuff out. Look, guys, it's Dimitri and Eber. I wonder what they think of the new Corsair Obsidian 500D. Eber's on a very important phone call. So for starters, Corsair has wireless everywhere, and they want everything to be wireless that they make, and so that means keyboards, mice, and I guess mainly keyboards and mice. But the K63 wireless mechanical keyboard uh, is what they have launched today. It costs $110. Uh, it also comes in a different lat board format, the K63 wireless mechanical lat board. Uh, you can buy them separately and get the lat board additionally for $60 more, or you can get them both together, save yourself $10, bucks, and it's $160 for the lat board version. Now, the unique thing about this is that it's wireless and it connects in three different ways. You can do a 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection, and that is the fastest and best connection for gaming. Uh, it has a one millisecond response time, which is about a millisecond uh, faster than any other wireless uh, keyboard of this nature before. It also has a Bluetooth connection availability, and that's really nice if you want to take it on the go and, and automatically connect it up to a laptop or something like that. You're not going to get quite as good of a response time. It's about 7.4 millisecond response time with Bluetooth connection, but still nice to have that as an option. You can also just plug it in via wired USB if the battery happens to die and you absolutely need to use your keyboard. So that's a really good uh, set of options for con connectivity. It's got 15 hour battery life with maximum LED brightness and the LED max brightness by default is 66%. You can go into the Corsair utility and actually increase that all the way to 100%, but in order to keep the battery life uh, better, they maximized it out of the box to 66%. Uh, you can turn the LEDs off, of course, and that will greatly increase your battery life to 75 hours. So, um, some options there. It's got perky blue LED backlighting that's controllable via the Corsair Utility Engine software. And it also has a cool feature that's 128-bit AES encryption when it's in wireless mode. Uh, that does add a tiny bit of, of latency, about 0.04 milliseconds. So you go from 1 to 1.04. Um, but if that does happen to bother you, if you're a, a professional gamer or something, you can disable the AES encryption as well. Uh, the lap board version has a memory foam cushion on the bottom and a full-size mouse pad so you can use it to game in the living room and this is only going to be available with Cherry MX Red switches at launch but they said as in the past based on consumer response they of course will be open to adding additional Cherry MX options in the future. To pair with the keyboard you have the Dark Core RGB wireless gaming mouse. This also connects in the same three ways 2.4 gigahertz wireless with one millisecond response time Bluetooth or via wired USB. Bear in mind that each individual device you connect via that 2.4 gigahertz connection will require its own separate USB dongle but you know that's not a huge deal but you do need that in order to maintain that really low response time. A 16,000 DPI PixArt sensor that they custom built for Corsair and it has a nice contoured shape it's a bit different from some of the Corsair designs we've seen in the past it has a textured bumpy palm rest and in my brief testing with it it was quite comfortable has three controllable RGB LED zones and up to 24 hours of in-use battery life, which is pretty good for a wireless mouse. It costs $80 uh, just by default, or there is a Dark Core RGB SE special edition that features Qi wireless charging. And that's actually pretty cool too, because you can pair that with the MM1000 Qi wireless charging mouse pad, the third new product that Corsair is launching today. Now this mouse pad costs $80, which is a lot for a mouse pad, but it is a bit more than a mouse pad because it has a wireless charging Qi spot. And if you can find the Qi spot, well, then you're already ahead of the game. But if you have the Dark Core RGB Special Edition mouse, which costs $90, $10 more than the normal version, you can, of course, park the mouse on that Qi spot, rub it right on there, and it will charge. And it only takes about a couple hours to charge, which is pretty nice. In fact, they said it charges just as fast when parked in the Qi spot as it does when plugged in directly via USB. So that's pretty impressive for a wireless charging method. Now you can charge other Qi compatible devices on this Qi spot. So if you have a cell phone, for example, that has wireless Qi charging, park it right there and it will charge up. Or they actually come added a little dongle uh, and you can use that via the plug and it's got three types of plugs, USB uh, mini B, uh, type C, as well as a lightning connection. So you can plug that into a phone that doesn't have wireless charging and then you can use that to charge your phone right there on the Qi spot as well. But chances are you're going to want to save that Qi spot and only park your dark core RGB wireless mouse on it. 
Now the next product, if we want to move away from peripherals, is a power supply. The new Corsair AX1600i power supply, which now becomes Corsair's best power supply ever, supplanting the former champion, the AX1500i. And if you're like me and get really excited about power supplies like this, then you probably can't find the cheese spot. But anyway, this power supply is going to cost you $450, and yes, it does supply 1600 watts versus 1500 watts of its predecessor, um, but it is more efficient. In fact, they're featuring gallium nitride transistors. Um, in fact, John was very excited about the gallium nitride transistors. I don't blame him. They have increased efficiency versus silicon transistors, and it actually has better than 80 plus titanium efficiency. 94% uh, at minimum, but actually can go up to 99% efficiency. Absolutely crazy, depending on the load that you have on the actual power supply itself, of course. Has digital monitoring via Corsair Link, just like its predecessor. And it's 200 millimeters long, which is fairly long for a power supply, but that is 20 millimeters shorter than the former AX1500i. And that's part of that gallium nitride transistor thing, because the gallium nitride trans transistors can also be smaller. Now beyond the power of this power supply, it's also uh, pretty sexy looking, and if you want to make it sexier or just make it match your case, they have swappable magnetic ID plates for the side. So it's got a gray label on there by default, but rather than peeling that off as we often recommend, you can just take these little magnetic plates, there's red, white, and blue, and just swap it on instead. I think the only way they can make this power supply better would be if they included this really cool white uh, cable, sleeved cable set by default. I don't know if we can talk them into that. Or maybe they'll make a special white edition of it. That Maybe they could do that too. They've done that before. Made a white power supply. Moving on though to just a couple more products. Corsair is of course very well known for their closed loop liquid CPU coolers and they're introducing a couple more to their lineup. In fact, these were previously introduced back at Computex, but they're actually bringing them to the market now so you can buy them. The H15i Pro and the H50i Pro. Now both of these new CLCs have a 360 degree RGB lighting ring around the outside and an aluminum trim, pu trimmed pump cap that I think looks pretty cool. Corsair logo on top also of course lights up in RGB and you can customize that by connecting it to the Corsair Link utility and of course you can also use the Corsair Link utility to monitor stuff like uh, your fan speeds and, and your uh, uh, water temperature and that kind of thing. Ultra low noise Corsair Maglev series cooling fans are included. They have large high density radiators, 360 millimeter for the H150i Pro and 280 millimeter for the H115i Pro. Uh, and these are the first Corsair Hydro series coolers to feature a zero RPM mode. So um, when your CPU isn't hot enough or whatever you have connected to the closed loop cooler, uh, the fans just won't spin. And that's a really nice option for super low noise, especially if you're not using, you're not using your computer. Why do the fans need to spin? Just sucking air through and getting dust and things and that kind of thing. Finally, these also feature the brand newest 6th gen Ace Tech pump. And uh, this is new, and from what they tell me, it is quieter. And hopefully we can test that in the future to see if that is actually true. Now finally, Corsair had a couple new cases they were showing off. The one that is available now for $100 is the Corsair Carbide Spec Omega. Uh, and then they also had a new Obsidian 500D that I thought looked really cool. Had a tempered glass side panel as well as sort of a curved tempered glass front panel, which is very challenging to do. Uh, they were talking about how the manufacturing of that curved front piece was actually pretty difficult. I'm not going to go too much into details here because while I was at the Corsair suite, Dimitri and Eber from Hardware Connects were there. And and you know, they go all out when it comes to case videos and they were getting all sorts of really cool footage of the 500D and I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna tell people to go to their video. So that's what you guys should do. I'll, t I'll find their video once they post it and put a link in the comments or just go over to Hardware Connects and check it out because Dimitri, Dimitri and Eber do a really good job with that stuff and they can have all the gritty details on that. So everything I've talked about today, except for that 500D case, is available right now. Uh, you can go to the Corsair store and buy that directly, or they should be available at retailers soon as well. But guys, that's all for this video, and in case you hadn't noticed, I, I re relocated back to the hotel room because it was a little crowded in the Corsair suite. But definitely hit that thumbs up button, guys, if you enjoyed this video. And of course, one final shout out to my sponsors for CES 2018, OCZ Toshiba, Deep Cool, Enermax, and Cooler Master. More videos coming very soon, so of course, subscribe as well if you're not already. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.